Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in the side of the Christ, Messiah, the Messiah, Messiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God the higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the so-called diaspora. I greet you all in the precious name of our soon coming king, the king of Yashahel, Yesiah the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ, the church. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the glorious name. Of our great king who is coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in the precious name of our soon coming King Yesiah. All right, you know what time it is. You can skip this part and find the main message. I will be doing some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody in the comment section pretending to be me, you need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There is a sinner's prayer for you. We want you into the kingdom of Ohio. I will be doing the top 20 at the ending of the video. Continue to like the videos, brothers and sisters. Please like the videos. Go in the comment section. Let's communicate together. Continue to share the videos. And please subscribe to the channel. Don't be afraid to subscribe. You know, I know sometimes people watch channels and um, they get into this routine where, you know, they come back from time to time and check stuff out. But sometimes things can miss you. So don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Hallelujah. This is the End Time Prophecy channel. It will save your life. Amen. Click the bell button and click all. Glory be. And um, thank those of you who have blessed me through PayPal. It's been my daily bread, to be honest with you. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Hallelujah. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but we're near to the revealing of the dirty lawless one, a.k.a. the Antichrist. That man is coming very, very soon. Um, and the lawlessness, please read Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, tells you Satan will change times, laws, and season. It will be given to him and the world will become like the book of Eli, a.k.a. Mad Max, Mel Gibson type world, post-apocalyptic, wicked, dirty world. You have to make sure that your anchor holds in Christ. You have to make sure that you are walking in the light of the Most High. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Lord. All right. Um, we, we have a prophetic theme song as well called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. She's a hide sweeties and toys. And when we're near to the stuff, she used to sing, how near you are and it's such a fitting song for these end times and for this prophetic um, channel of mine all right the song goes like this how near you are oh near you are oh near you are oh near how oh, near you are oh near you are oh near you are oh near hallelujah yes we are there and we can sing that song with great confidence all right brothers and sisters so like i say this channel is a dual channel have a dual ministry two ministries in one prophetic end time ministry and the ministry for the hebrew yeshahelites scattered all over the world my ministries to them as well but we're talking about the end times today all right okay brothers and sisters so yes dirty wicked halloween has come and it has gone but i want to tell you something on the first of the first of november 2022 at about 7 30 in the morning the most i revealed something in my spirit concerning elon musk you, you know him isn't it the boss of Twitter, the boss of Tweety Bird. I don't want to call his name up too much. I gave him a name, didn't I? Uh, call him Elmo. Yes, that's what I gave him because I've done a couple of videos about Elmo, L aka Ellen Moss. But I'll call him Elmo for the purpose of this video. So the most I begin to speak to me about Elmo. Obviously, the Lord called his proper name. And the Lord says, Warn my people not to trust him. 
this was before i saw the demonic evil wicked horrendous costume that he wore for halloween for halloween all right uh because in in babylon uk 7 30 in the morning is about what time is it in babylon u.s it's about 12 o'clock or something like that in midnight or one o'clock something like that but the most i when i woke up the lord says to me warn well, my people do not trust elmo about was the most i call his name you have to take the warning brothers and sisters you've got to take heed and this whole thing, I mean, this video is not really about Tweety Bird that he has taken over. It's really about his demonic costume. But listen to me, for those of you, if anybody, if anybody who is rejoicing in their hearts, especially if you're a child of Most Ahaya, and you are rejoicing in your heart that Elmo has taken over Tweety Bird and everything is going to be all so wonderful. You're making a sad mistake. You've got to get that rejoicement out of your heart. Don't rejoice. Don't, don't you dare rejoice. Because whatever Helmo is coming with, it is going to be from the kingdom of darkness. Do you understand what I'm saying? So for those of you who are thinking, oh, Helmo is going to take over and it's going to be free speech and everything is going to be so lovely do not be deceived understand the times and the season that we're in we are literally in the end times all right and so everything is planned against the people of the most High. amen everything is planned against us so don't be in a rejoicement mood because the wicked is taking over the bible says that the wicked weep sorry the bible says that the righteous weeps when the wicked takes over because it's no good but anyway, I wasn't talking about Tweedy Bird or anything like that Um, this video. So, throughout the course of the day, um, obviously, you know, brothers and sisters were sharing on my Facebook feed. And, and just for the record, really, just for the record, Ahaya never lies. He speaks truth. He is truth. When I tell you in the comment here and I tell you I don't watch the news, I don't watch TV, it is what it is. If you believe that I do, that's up to you. That is not my problem. So just because I come in here and I post about stuff like celebrities and things like that, please understand that I am on Facebook. I am not a robot. I am on Facebook and there are brothers and sisters who post stuff about these things and it's in my feed. So when I come and I do a little video about them, some majority of the time, that is where I get the information from, from brothers and sisters on their feed. Or brothers and sisters will email me and say, Sister Karen, look. So some brothers and sisters have emailed me and say, Sister Karen, look at what El Elmo dressed as. All right. So I saw a couple of pictures of Elmo, isn't it? I saw a couple of pictures of Elmo. And I briefly mentioned it yesterday in a video that I did concerning that uh, Babylon U.S. rapper guy take off um, that he died. Um, sacrificial death. That's all it is. Some of you are saying it's accidental. It's, this is that, this, that was a sacrifice. Why was it a sacrifice? Because too much wickedness was going on in Babylon. Babylon U.S. on the 31st leading up to when he died. Leading up to the twilight. Just a minute, brothers and sisters. Leading up to the twilight when um, this guy died. So it was a, it was a literal sacrifice to Satan. Because the higher you are in the music or sporting industry, the more brown points, so to speak, people, you know, that is released in the atmosphere. And I, and I briefly mentioned about Elmo. I mentioned about Elmo and his suit. And I talk about how, you know, Elmo dressed up as a Baphomet. So what it is. He dressed up as a Baphomet. And these people are not hiding anything. Now, how can you support somebody who's against the Most High? Brothers and sisters, the Baphomet is real. The Baphomet is Satan. The Baphomet is Lucifer. So when you see these people come and they dress and they're showing off and they're, they're, they're promoting the kingdom of darkness, you do not support them by any, main or by any means or measure. You stay away. Do not call evil good. Bible said, don't let your good works be evil spoken of now because i am not all fair i am not all fair with computer i don't know how to click on bits and pieces i'm still talking and i can show you up in the corner 
another video I, I don't know how to do it i really don't know all right i'm like a one trip pony with my video really so what i did just before i came on because i know i'm going to talk about elmo and his dirty demonic wicked evil suit the most i show me something and i don't know if people have seen this all right so here you go oh the, oh, the thing is not dirty i cleaned it the other day i really did so here you go that's elmo isn't it that's elmo all right, in his hallow, Halloween <laughs> suit, uh, the devil's champion. That's what he calls himself, the devil's champion. But I wanted to show you something because the most I showed me a few bits and pieces in this, um, hallelujah, in this demonic costume that he that he's wearing, that he's wearing, all right, promoting the kingdom of darkness. Um, I've done a video. It's only, how long is it now? It's only a minute long. So I'm going to play it now because I literally just done it. And um, let me see if I can turn up. I'm going to do play it now. So, right, brothers and sisters, so you can understand what I'm saying. All right. Okay. All right. Let me um, hold it. <laughs> God, I'm not going to do this thing. Lord of mercy, Father, God of creation. Okay. All them brothers and sisters, all them. It's been played. Okay. I think I'm gonna record this and right. play it. Oops. And show it to you. Um, Sivan is back. Alright, let him play it. I'm on the table and show it to you. That. Listen, I want to show you something with Elon Musk. Okay. Can you see? Here we are. Can you see? This is a serpent. Alright, here we go. That is a serpent. So that's a snake. That is a snake coming down, down. You got the two eyes, eyes there, and eyes there, and the upside down cross, brothers and sisters. This thing is real. You can clearly see the Baphomet. You can see the horn on here. All right, let me back on. You can see the horn. Okay, this is the horn. This is the next horn. All right, going over there, and it's a goat head. This is what we call the Baphomet. These people are telling you in place that in plain sight who they worship. This is Elon Musk, um, Halloween, demonic, evil, wicked suit that he put on, saying that they are celebrating Halloween. But can you see, brothers and sisters? Can you see the serpent, the serpent and the upside down um, cross um, on his? He's called the Devil's Champion. He's right. He's absolutely right because that that is who he is. He's a champion for Satan. And we, as children of the Most style, we really need to step up our game, really, to serve a higher. All right? So I'm going to quickly do this one. <laughs> I'll go back to the video now. <sighs> my hand's killing all right brother and sister so i had to do that because like i say i don't know how to fancy fancy up and make it show while i'm talking here but i what yesterday when i posted a video about elmo i didn't even see the snake like i only saw the upside the down cross but I knew that I was going to do a video about him today. And I was going to just do a, a photograph again. But as I went back and I looked on it, I said, oh, Father, ah, look at the snake. Look at the sir. And there's more. I'm looking at this thing and there's more than one snake here. Literally, there's, there's literally more than one snake going on here. Because the snakes are in his horn, in the Baphomet horn. Oh, my God. This, this is, this is, brothers and sisters. Good creation. No, stop. Mm -mm. Them, these people are really children of the, the devil. Seed of the serpent. This, this, this is what you call the seed of the serpent. Satan has got a bloodline. Lucifer has got a bloodline. And his children, listen to me, they don't romp. They ain't playing to promote the daddy. They promote Satan left, right, and center. And we as a church are falling for these foolishness. That is why the Bible says, my children are destroyed. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because people do not want to use discernment. Just don't want to use discernment. You have to use discernment in these end times because if you don't, you will be destroyed and it be nobody's fault but yours. So that's the, why, that's the reason why the Lord told me on the first of 
November 2021 at 7.30 in the morning, way before I saw that demonic suit of Halloween. And um, the Lord said, warn my people, do not trust Elmo. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave the a pin playlist that I've done concerning Elmo and who he is. Because really and truly, I don't... I don't, yeah, don't even believe that this one is fully human. There's some form of transformation that has taken place with this guy. And you've got to understand that the SpaceX business that he's got up there with the millions of satellites, yeah, they may tell you, well, it's for you to get better broadband and better this and better frequency for your TV and your phone and your, no. These people are setting up shop to fight against the new Jerusalem. Please understand what is going on. That is all that one is, the space, space X business. Because why? They know that Yesaya is coming back and they believe in their deluded minds that they can really, really destroy Yesaya when he's coming. They believe that they can stop the son of, that they can stop the son of Ahaya coming back to this earth for his people. They really, they truly believe that. This is how deluded they are. And, they, and, and I can't believe that some people are really bigging up this man. Christians as well. Bigging up this man, you know. And they even comparing him to Donald Trump to say, you know, that Donald Trump is wicked. But, you know, um, even comparing Elon Musk to Donald Trump and say that him and Donald Trump are going to bring back free speech and, and, and everybody can speak how they feel and this. And it's a massive setup. Massive, massive, massive setup. Wake up, church. Church, wake up. Come off milk. I keep on saying it. I don't know why. Well, I don't know why, really. I've been warning in few of my videos recently. You need to come off baby milk. You need to come off these. The Lord is going to bless me any minute now. And I'm going to get a husband tomorrow. And no harm shall come beside me. And I can do whatever. The Lord still loves me. you got to wake up. you got to come off of those baby food. Those baby food are when you're just born again. If you are two years, three years, four years, five years, a child of the most high, you've got to be on milk. You've got to get the hard prophecies that's coming through. Find prophetic channel. If you don't even don't like this channel, go and find other prophetic channel that you are connected with. And get the hard food. Because that is what is going to save you in the time of the end. Because this is where we're heading into. We're heading into perilous time. Brothers and sisters, false teachers are coming. Haters of the most high. That is what they're called haters, haters of Ahaya. And if they hate Ahaya, do you think that they love you? Yesaya said they hate me first. They hate Yesaya first before they hate the church. They have to hate Ahaya before they begin to hate the church. And they hate people like Elbow, these type of people. Listen to me. They promote the kingdom of darkness can you believe that we know what the baphomet is brothers and sisters there's no if buts and maybe and if you all believe that the baphomet was real it's just that no check out elmo's suit big massive baphomet on his suit go back and play the video don't want to really show it again because to take up time and the big massive snake what is he spitting on something like fire is coming out of the serpent's mouth Fire to devour. Look at the big dirty snake on the man front shirt. <laughs> right? Tell, they're telling you who they worship. This looks like a frog going through. Let me show you again, brothers and sisters. This thing is real, isn't it? I, let me, um, I'm not going to let it play. Let me, um, see if, without it playing, see if I can show the frog. Don't know if it's going to come through. But where am I? Look at that. That looks like a frog. Oh, my hands so big right. that there looks like a frog coming all the way through here you, you need to go and check out your suit it is so wicked no wonder why that off what offset not offset what what's take take me not take me what is it crossover no oh gosh what's that guy that was killed migos migos person was killed that young kid that I did the video on yesterday. No wonder why the demons kill him. 
Because the atmosphere in Babylon US was just too wicked. They were just flying about. That's all it was. These demons, these fallen angels were just hovering over, flying about, seeking who they could kill. But he was targeted. Because you see, the thing about it is that when you go into the music industry, it's not that, okay, you're talented, all wonderful, sign for your money, and that's it. No, it's, more, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that comes with it, brothers and sisters. You've got to promote the kingdom of darkness. And when you promote the kingdom, kingdom of darkness in your songs, in what you wear, in the signs that you do with your hands, who is there to protect you? Because there's no loyalty from Satan. It's not like Satan is going to protect you. It'll kill you in a jiffy. The atmosphere in Babylon, U.S., where Halloween is concerned, was on a all-time high and it's still going on what date are we on today the second it is still going on today's the second of november so don't be surprised it comes in threes it comes in threes. so this is the first celebrity is a celebrity somebody says to me in the comment section because i don't know the takeoff guy is it take off take off take is it called take off i know it's, it's uh, migos migos my gosh, Migos take off or take over. Anyways, you know who I'm talking, the Migos guy that died, right? Um, somebody in the comment section says Sister Karen is a big superstar in Babylon, US. Well, that makes sense, isn't it? Because the higher you are, the more brown points you get, really and truly. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. These people sacrifice each other. I don't know. I don't know. Something isn't right. Something is off with this guy. Um... I don't know. It's a, it's a massive sacrifice, isn't it? Because sometimes, you know, when they're gonna, when your time is up, say for instance, the wicked wants to kill you and you know that, listen, I'm sorry, they'll probably, fall. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how these Zionists do it. I don't know if phone up the rappers and said, look, I'm sorry about your time is up. We'll, we'll have to kill you. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Or the rappers or the singers maybe get, um, through the grapevine, listen, they want to kill you, girl. I don't want to kill you, man. Um, so instead of them dying, instead of them dying, they sacrifice the, the loved one. I don't know. They sacrifice the brother. They sacrifice the sister. They sacrifice the baby. Because they don't want to die. Because why? They went into contract with Satan. And Satan needs blood. It's all about blood for the devil. So sometimes when you see these things happen, brothers and sisters, you've got to go and look deeper. Look at the family, look, look, look at the friends and things like that. All right. But I don't know. I, I just, this man, Migos guy that died. Some people are saying it was an accident. He was shot by an accident. But I just feel that something is off. It's just, it's desperately and dreadfully wrong. Something. Desperately wrong. Desperately wrong. Something isn't right. So many witches and warlocks in Babylon, US. But anyways, brothers and sisters, listen. Uh, like I said, I'm not surprised that this has happened because when you promote the devil like this with your costume, you're sending out a message to tell the world, my father, Lucifer, is the king. That's what they're doing. Energy, it's all about energy. Satan works with energy. Catches your energy. And that's why when the church begins to pray, it gets weak. Why does the devil get weak? When he comes around true born again servants who serve the most high with servitude and righteousness. And when Satan comes around, he's got to flee, he gets weak because it's the energy from the prior. Come on, O church of God. It's the energy from the prior. He can't stand it. It weakens him. But when these dirty celebrities run around in their demonic costumes and promoting the, the kingdom of darkness and people, your normal Joe blog is looking and said, oh, that's cute. That looks like it's loads of energy. The more energy you have, the more chaos, the more destruction, the more death because there's no protection. This thing is real. It is deep. Nothing new underneath the sun. So... Listen to me. Do not trust Elmo. That's 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 the word for today. Don't trust Elmo. All right. I'll leave my playlist for you for you to watch. All right. So, all right. If you come to the end of the um, why is that woman a miss spirit? 
I'm going to call her name. I don't know. She's a Miss Spirit. Not that I think about these people. Chloe Kardashian. Something isn't right. Watch the space. Listen to me. Like I was saying um, before, we're talking about other things. He's El, not Elmo. Um, Migos take over. Is it take over? It's called or take off. Um, he's the first celeb, isn't it? Yeah. Am I? He's the first celebrity, big big celebrity to die. The opening up of a sacrifice. Come on, old Church of God. Sacrifice. The first celebrity to die on the first of November. The opening up of November. It comes in three. So two more to go, and they're going to be young as well. Young celebrities. Not old ones. The devil of the field day last year, isn't it? Where we're killing off the oldies, the old celebrities. One after the next, one after the next, one after the next. But there's two more young ones to come. Two more young ones. Sacrifice. Their time is up. Don't know why these... I don't... I, I don't know why they go into demonic music, really and truly. Why? Why do you promote the kingdom of darkness? Why you sing about why? It doesn't benefit you. It just gives you an early grave. <laughs> That's all it does. But each of their own. They say they want fame and fortune. They want to be on top of the world. So that's it for them, isn't it? Really and truly. Alright, so these are the top 20 brothers and sisters. I need the powerful video. Powerful video concerning Kyrie, Kyrie, yes, Kyrie, aka Aaron. And when I did that video, people were scratching their heads and said, Oh, what is Sister Karen talking about? But when I talk about Black Moses and uh, Black Moses, which is Ye, and Aaron, which is Kyrie Irving, I'm not talking about the physical importation of the Bibli of the biblical ancient Hebrew Yashahelite. I'm talking about the spirit that they're operating in, because if you take there's so so many similar there's so many similarities with Black Moses and the ancient Hebrew Yashahelite Moses of the Bible, and Aaron, which is Moses' brother of the ancient Hebrew Israelite, and Karen, who is Aaron now. So if you take Ye and Kyrie, which one of them speaks more elegantly? Think about it. Think about the ancient Hebrew Yeshahelite Moses and the ancient Hebrew Aaron. Which one of them, back in the ancient times, spoke more elegantly or eloquently? Who could speak more? Who was the most peace for Moses? Look at Kyrie, a.k.a. Aaron. Look at Ye, a.k.a. Black Moses. Which one of them speak more eloquently? And put, do you know what I'm saying? If you take Aaron, ancient Aaron, what did ancient Aaron did? Yeah, he made a golden calf for the people. You look at Kyrie, and I understand that on his... Instagram or Twitter, I don't know, it's in the comment section, that he talks about ancestors. What's the difference between making a golden calf? And you see this, do you understand where I'm coming from? <laughs> do you see the similarities? So this is why I am saying what the Lord showed me in my spirit concerning Kyrie, he's Aaron, in the spirit of Aaron. And Ye is black Moses. You might say, why call him black? Because Moses been black. I said black Moses just to emphasize. It's an emphasize that the ancient Hebrew Moses was a black man. It's just emphasizing. That's why I say black Moses. Well, that's the word that the most High gives me. Anyways, call him black Moses. But the ancient Aaron and Moses have very, very much similarities to um, them too. I don't know why I'm talking about this because I need. I, we're going to make another video. Oh my lord, I'll give it away, ain't it? Um, all right. So these are top twenty beautiful beloved underneath the most style. Um, I might yeah do another video actually. Jereen Smith, voice of one crying in the wilderness. Worship the real Father Ahaya. Renovate DMV. Ingrid Senior. Bridget Tucker. Renita Miller. 
blue lily. I'm a good loser my voice over blue lily. Blue lily. Okay, Solly H. Uh, Yannika. Yannika Bernard. Empty my holdings. Ever Thompson. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Vanessa Kelly. Kimberly. Row 10. The Carnival Baby. Smooth Flight. Paulette Allen. Eat the Hodu. Oh. Yo ha oh ya serelu I'm getting it I'm getting it <laughs> Chantel Chandel uh sway daughter off I'm sorry um Chandel it says daughter off and cut off so I'm thinking maybe it's daughter of the most die daughter of a haya all right but anyway you're daughter of the most die glory be to your name Lord all right Shana Fisher Valerie Jarrett Cynthia de la Cerda, Joselle Cooper, Asana Brownie. Hallelujah. Top 20 beautiful beloved. I need a very powerful video concerning Kyrie's identity that he is Aaron, spirit of Aaron. All right. Okay, brothers and sisters. We are, if I come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Desire as Lord and Savior. Please say this in this prayer after me. The Desire the Christ. I know that you are the son of Ahaya, whom the world calls God. I believe that Isaiah died on the cross for my sins. Isaiah, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, resurrection. And that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya, Isaiah, king of glory. I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent from my wicked ways. Ahaya. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah. And I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things that's pleasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, I believe it with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. You've said the repentance prayer. You now need to find a man of the most start higher. Ask him to fully baptize in water, fully dunk in water, spiritual transformation. When you go down in water, you say that Yesiah died on the cross. You believe in the torment of sin. When the man of the most start raises you out of the water, you're raised into new life. You are raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with higher, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most start higher. Who lives above the heavens? I eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon. Someday in glory in Yesiah's holy name. Amen. 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 Let's say the benediction. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Yesiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.